Hey guys, it's a History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. And where we last left off, we had uh, started the Northwestern Approaches, but sadly, uh, none of the ships we sunk counted for the mission, which super duper sucks. Um, we've got ourselves all refitted, full load of torpedoes, uh, electric in the aft, full fuel tank and all that I think we're just gonna basically do a 180 and head right back up there to see if a week later uh, in real time not game time the uh, the missions point. ready Course to one, be eight, worked one, seven, yeah six. there's some good English right there uh, pretty sure we're gonna be safe and sound We'll just bring ourselves well, maybe New maybe about there Course one, seven, uh, that'll be the plan bearing one, for that two. slow speed ahead go ahead and get our ship moving Dieter no promotion points to spend so um yeah I guess that's about it feeling a lot better this week I still got a little bit of congestion in the old lung department but um Hopefully, as you can tell, my voice is sounding a lot better, and it's feeling a lot better. So, that's good. Uh, other than that, can't really think of much. So, I will see you guys when I've got something exciting to share with you. See y'all in a bit. Okay, so, sit rep. Um, here is a battleship fleet with escort. New contact, warship, moving slow, uh, and we've distance, bearing two, seven... Long range. We've picked up one of the escorts behind us. Um, so yeah, so that's the situation. Oh, we don't need to go that fast underwater. The unfortunate thing is, uh, we're not going to have any chance whatsoever on the battleship group that's that's getting toured around. Where? Oh, that's because I'm looking ahead. Of course. There we go. So there's the tail. It's just uh, just a normal little escort, I think. And then if we look up in this direction, can we make them out? No. We cannot. But <clears throat> there is ships up there that I'm hoping to get. I don't know. That it seems a little too far. New contact. Warship moving slow. Constant distance. Bearing two. Five, nine, long range. But, um, we're not exactly a speed demon going underwater here. Warship moving slow, constant distance. Bearing two, seven, one, long range. Now, let's keep this behind. And let's see. Tracking new target. We could probably get a shot off on this guy already. Um, what is our torpedo range on this? Three kilometers. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, he's within range. I think. So let's just get it lined up right in between the two Five, stacks. Two. And hope. We will drop our periscope down. And there's our sole electric torpedo. Electricing away. Um, it is going to take a long time to get there. So let's see how, how it's looking. Where are you at, torpedo? We gotta be coming close to you. Somewhere? Well, there's the destroyer. And I can hear that torpedo somewhere. But I've gotta say, it's not looking... 
It's not looking all that good. Definite miss. From that far out, not really a surprise. Let's cut our engines. And maybe... Let's go a little bit deeper. As much as I would love to pursue this battleship, I just don't think it's... Um, it's on the cards, although they are coming down this direction. Slow speed ahead. Or maybe they're not. They're definitely not coming down this direction at all. We're not going to catch them. Darn. Oh, well. Um, that was our first contact up here. And uh, I guess we'll just we'll just turn around. Well, what we'll do. All stop. Obviously, is we'll wait for them to get out of range. I don't want to go on the surface and have to wind up fighting uh, 60 billion ships. That's an exaggeration, yes. But it is truly how I feel. We'll just give it a look see, make sure there's nothing out here. I'm fairly confident we're all alone. And then we'll just. Uh, yeah, we'll just resume hunting for freighters. Ho oh, hum, that would have been nice to get. Um, if we get the cheaty view, I'm not gonna hunt it down. But it would have been nice. I think it was a Nelson with a full complement of a butt ton of destroyers. So next time, maybe. Hopefully, who knows? Anyway, uh, speaking of next time, I will be back when I've got something more exciting to show you guys. See you in a bit. We've got a very bizarre situation. Um, I've decided to head into Lock U and uh, see just what, you know, we can see maybe in port uh, at the terminus, basically, of this mission objective. Now, the seas are a little bit rough, and coming in, it, it, the game didn't slow down time acceleration. I had to do that manually, so we came in quite quickly. And um, it didn't, yeah, like it didn't do a thing for this warship coming in. As you can see, uh, it's it's just a little torpedo boat. Um, I haven't shot, I haven't fired any guns or anything, and this sucker's already on fire. Um, so I've got no idea just what is going on. I'm a little concerned, maybe this guy's on a bit of a kamikaze run, I don't know. But let's see, let's see as he gets closer. Okay. Escort sighted, bearing three, five, seven. So, if he's gonna get closer, we're New just course, gonna... One, one, six degrees. Kinda pull ourselves to the side. And uh, see if we can't take him out with our own anti-air gun, which is not easy in rough seas against a tiny craft like this. But uh, they're not really shooting back, so jokes on them. The thing I've got to remember is to not continue on my course uh, too much. We don't have any high explosive anti-aircraft round yet. That is good to remember. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know how this guy got lit on fire. I don't know. Because we're not even, we're not even anywhere close. Uh, can we just return to course? Returning to course. We're not anywhere close to where these guys should be being attacked by anything. So, uh, I don't know, maybe it was a, an unlucky motorboat? that is now in a very, very unlucky position of having to deal with a U-boat coming in? I don't know. 
I'm thinking though, maybe, just maybe, this machine gun might not, might not be strong enough. Oh, and we got another ship coming in <clears throat> to, uh, whoops. It looks like anyway. Yep, that was definitely... New depth, four meters. Come on. Get under there. That was definitely much larger round. And that is definitely an enemy destroyer coming in our way as well. <clears throat> well, let's hope we can get under. Half speed ahead. I'm no longer worried about that motorboat that's on fire. I'm more worried about just getting our butts underwater as quick as we possibly can. Come on, lads. That destroyer fire is getting close. I don't think we've taken any damage. We have not. That Current is good. One, zero meters. All right. It looks like shut down these engines. Minimum speed ahead. We're safely under, which is joyous and wonderful. Our destroyer is still firing her deck guns at us. That's fine. And uh, somewhere back here, this guy is probably going to be tailing us for the entire time. So there's our enemy. He's about four kilometers out. So we will just drop down the periscope and um, I'm going to see if we can avoid him. Now that, hmm, yeah. Did the, uh, motorboat wind up dead? No. I was hoping. Still, it should be chock full of holes. Um, it looks like this guy is going to be following us. So, how about that direction? Okay. Perfect. And now we can just kind of turn around him and hopefully sneak into port without having to engage. Oh, it looks like... It looks like he's just run away all on his own accord. Okay, well, that's, uh... That's the first round the Battle of Lock U. Decidedly a draw. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what round two brings in a little bit. We'll see you guys then. Alright, so, we've moved further up, and we can see that this guy here, about a kilometer away, is still being a royal pain Torpedo in the ass. Set to one meters. Torpedo depth set to one meters. But, I think he's slowing down. And I think it might not be a bad idea to go for maybe something along the lines of that. Torpedo completes a nice little turn. Now I'm hoping this guy isn't in the process of stopping. Although it looks like he might be. Or... The auto aim is uh, is working fine, and my judgment is just off. Well, you might be in the process of slowing down, regardless. Torpedo impact. I think that might be a kill. Let's check it out. It is a very big hole. Nowhere near where I wanted it. So, like I'm saying, I have a feeling this guy 
may have been slowing down. And where you can see where the freaking motorboat is. I can't believe this thing's still alive. If it's on fire for any sort of realistic reason, dude's got to have sunk by now because it's been like half a day. This boat's been on fire. Crew don't mind. Crew don't care. They're just like, yeah, it's barbecue season. No, gentlemen, it is not. <clears throat> Where is... There we go. Now, this guy is probably... Minimum speed ahead. Right, we're already going minimum speed ahead, so that's fine. We'll just, um... We'll see if that guy sinks. So there's there's round two of the Battle of Lock U. And, um... I think it's decidedly in our favor. The motorboat's not really a concern anymore, and I would imagine that this destroyer is, uh, not long for this world. So, so much so... Ready. They are returning to port like um, broken, sad little children. Speed has definitely been reduced to nothing. And if we take a look, the nose, she's starting to get deep. And uh, that hole is now almost completely submerged. They've got a warning siren going off. I have a feeling this this sucker's not gonna last. So here's hoping anyway. Escort sighted. Bearing three, one, one. And that's gotta be our little. Uh, I keep wanting to say rowboat. It is definitely not a rowboat. It is a motor boat. I'm not saying that it doesn't have oars, it's just, you know, specifically it's not a rowboat. Well, fairly Escort confident. Bearing four, three. We've got more than one. We do have a warship way down there. It doesn't look like they're moving. So that's just fine. How can this destroyer still be alive and kicking? One thing I am a little bit concerned about is that I'm basically headed straight for this thing. And I might need to put a second torpedo in. I don't want to, but I definitely want to make sure this thing sinks. And I think the best way to go about doing that would be torpedo to just set to one. Two, one. pump Close. in another one. She's basically straight ahead of us. So this will be an easy shot, theoretically. But that would be, I think, three torpedoes. There was the electric that missed, the one, the steam one that hit, and now this second steam one that will hopefully hit. If this misses, I'm going to be uh, a sad, sad, sad panda. And this shouldn't miss. I mean, this ship cannot maneuver. It was a straight-on front shot, basically. And, um... Yeah, now it's just just a matter of putting enough holes into this thing so that it sinks quickly uh, instead of, you know, basically keeping itself alive to annoy me. Because nobody wants that, you know what I'm saying? We should be seeing the torpedo any moment. There she be. Coming in straight down the middle. Um, I'm worried. I'm very worried. K 
Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> All right, let's get closer. This thing is going to wind up taking four torpedoes, which is just ridiculous. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? By the time I get in here, I won't have any torpedoes to... Excuse me. To use against ships I want to use torpedoes against. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let's just go around, then. Uh, make sure to stay out of their hydrophone range. And um, I'm going to see you guys when we get in the actual port of Lock U. See you in a bit. Alrighty. So. All stop. We're in. We certainly do have... You know, let's zoom out so we can spin around quicker. We got a couple of escorts uh, within the port itself that are not operating or moving. <clears throat> We've got uh, some warships listed there. We got some handy, juicy merchants. But, critically, we got these two suckers steaming in. And um, I would like to make them my first target so we're gonna have to just spin ourselves around which now that I look at it is not gonna work <clears throat> because we are underwater and we are moving way too slowly Ship sighted. Airing two, eight, four. now we've got this puppy Time right here, are. we can probably go at about, two, two we'll go Torpedo two and a half. Two, two Super quick, uh, we'll go two, one, one there. Uh, depth. There, set two, super two quick, meters. we'll Target regain the lock. Two, and we'll put one about there. And then we'll get this guy. New super Torpedo quick, depth. speed two, two up. Meters. Same kind of thing. Two, three. One under Torpedo the smokestack. About dip. there. Two, two. We'll go super quick. And we will go... Uh, maybe... Whoa! Get a lock. Target there we go. Two, like that. <clears throat> now those first two shots are looking absolutely delicious. So let's pop up and see target number one. Torpedo impact. Torpedo impact. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Ship sighted bearing two eight zero. Hmm. Ship sighted bearing two nine six. Well, that first shot <clears throat> wasn't all that great. Of course, I left the targeting computer thingy on, but um, those first two, those first two shots, or the well, the first two shots were great. Killed this guy right here, and I say killed. Because I'm fairly confident that guy's going down. And in fact, if we take a look at the map, indeed, he is. <clears throat> and that will be... A whopping... Patroculus Armed Merchant for 11,000 tons. Did we get lucky? We did. That counts for the mission, which tells me... Nine. Target marked. Torpedo impact. Oh, that's just those torpedoes hitting the shore. Of course. It's a shame they didn't hit anything else. But what can you do? Let's cut our engines. We don't need to be moving around right now. What I need, though, is for my torpedo tubes to get reloaded. And that's basically it. Um, I just want to shoot that guy. That's, that's it. <clears throat> if we can sink two of these, 
then that's good news. My word. It would be intimidating to come up against this freighter uh, on the surface. I would not want to. So what this tells me then is I have a feeling. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling the Northwestern Approaches is all about sinking certain specific types of ships and not particularly, um, you know, a certain set amount of ships, if that makes any sense. There goes that one. And with tube one ready, um, let's get that selected. Torpedo depth. Set to three meters. Torpedo depth set to two meters. And I don't know if between the two smokestacks or in the rear section would be better. I say let's go between the two smokestacks. Two, one, close. Torpedo impact. No physical sign of damage underneath. But I don't think that's quite a kill yet. That is not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Just an impact. And uh, I should actually take a look at this because I would imagine our CO2 levels are getting pretty nasty. Um, basically, I just want my torpedo tube to come back. Load up tube 2. Ready. Thank you. High speed. Same type of thing. Maybe a little bit deeper. We'll get a lock. We'll break the lock. We'll fire. And... We will hope that this can sink this guy too. Looking good. We could definitely go deeper. Well... That sounds to me like a kill. Uh, Rala Pindi Armed Merchant, 16,000 tons. Not too bad. We are now about a third of the way done. And it was basically from sinking two ships. Which uh, I am A-OK -okay with. Let's get ourselves turned around. Minimum speed ahead. Two, three. And uh, start... Two, four, removing ourselves from port. Now, I'm of course going to want to be keeping a visual inspection going on just to see Escort sighted. Bearing two, zero, five. where the two ships we that are, are on fire are. Captain. Because, uh, we all know those things won't ever sink. Escort sighted. Bearing one, seven, one. We got some fishing boats up in there. And, uh, some more merchants. I have a feeling we'll be having an, at least another Battle of Lock U to, uh, to finish off the mission. This ship, still alive and kicking. Lucky for them, we've burned through pretty much all of our torpedoes. Escort sighted. But let's Bearing keep pushing. One. And uh, I think Seven. what I'll do is head home with those two torpedoes. Aircraft spotted. Bearing three, five, zero. It's fine.
I mean, seriously, these aircraft. What are you gonna do? I'm under the water, and at this stage, you know, you don't have the the ordinance to hurt me. So you guys can keep buzzing me all you want. Um, it's not gonna do anything to the old endurance. And I just want to make sure we get ourselves into a nice, sort of, semi-safe position out here. Uh, before surfacing. We should be okay. Surface the horizon. Bearing two, zero, eight. I hope. 11 kilometers away. If they start moving for us, we will be able to get under quickly. But... That's looking nice and safe for us now. Um, we will be back. Or I'll be back when I got something um, more interesting. What I'm probably going to do, considering the state of my ordinance, is just head back and resupply. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys very likely in Helgeland. See you in a bit. Alright. So here we are. Back at Helgeland. So let's refit our boat. Make sure things are looking good. We're Ship loading up the tubes. Two, seven. Looks like, unfortunately, we've got a steam torpedo in the rear. Yes, that's all right, though. We can't really expect um, a little port like this to have the cutting edge of German munitions. So, let's turn the boat around. <clears throat> and head back out there. Now, um... I'm a little bit nervous about heading back out there on the way home. The game did crash, which means I did have to restart it. Which means, um, if this mission... Now, I'm fairly confident. I'm trusting memory here, though. But I'm fairly confident Northwestern Approaches is certain kinds of ships, and not just X amount of ships. So, I have a feeling the two that I sunk, if I were to go back and sink more, would count. But because of the restart, I don't know... If it's ship type, and I just happen to hit them this time and not last time, or if it's that bug where this, like, you know, sometimes you play doesn't think it's connected, even though it'll never connect, and whatever, you know, the off-line little personality that got added, or whatever it is. Oh, excuse me while I stretch and yawn and do all these things that are very unprofessional to do on a microphone. Not that I'm stretching on the microphone, but I digress from my comment. Basically, I don't know if it's the ship type, in which case if we go back it should still work, or if it was just last time before the crash, Uplay thought it was connected, and, you know, this time Uplay might think it's not connected. So we'll have to see. Uh, anyway, that's the plan. We're just going to head back to the same port. And um, do we have any promotion points? No. All right, well, let's go back to the map. <clears throat> and actually, I might not go to lock U. What I might do is go to Stornoway up here, because it looks like this might be easier to get a shot in. I don't know. Regardless, we're going to head back up here and see if we can't do some more damage on the old mission front. New waypoint, course. Kind of something like that. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Half speed ahead. Hit half speed ahead, and I will see you guys when we get there. See you in a bit. All right. So, we're getting into position uh, for another push into Lock U. And we got a good news, bad news kind of situation going on here. Uh, the weather. So, it's good news because we've been able to sneak up nice and close uh, without anybody detecting us. Which means, you know, we haven't burned through any battery power. We don't have any CO2 building up. We've got full loads of torpedoes that we haven't had to shoot at any sort of, um, you know, protection. But it's going to be turning uh, sort of against us soon because, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> with us getting closer... Depth under keel is 22 meters, Captain. We're losing any sort... Well, we don't... You know, have any sort of waters, visual ability to really see anything. Um, 
We should be close enough, I would figure, for us to see land. Um, but we can't. So that's a thing. And what this means is if we see any sort of escort, uh, it'll be bad. Because we'll be right on top of them. And they'll be able to shoot us. So let's get ourselves under. Minimum speed ahead. And sort of push into the middle of the port here. Current depth, one, zero meters. Now we did we were able to sneak past every single escort. Which is good. <clears throat> And it looks like we're free and clear from any and all escorts now, which is also good. But we, like I say, we don't have any sort of... ...visual identification on any of the ships. Why is that not centered? Any ships that might be in port, we can't really see. And if they're not moving, we're not going to be able to hear them either. So it's just kind of a matter of maneuvering ourselves around, and I'm purposely leaving the periscope up. So if we come close to any ships, we should theoretically be able to um, see them. But I'm not seeing anything. So we just have to very carefully advance around. So we can see the, uh, the moon identifying this island, which is helpful. But that's about it. I would expect there to be some ships over in this area that we just can't make out yet. There's got to be... There's got to be some around here. Somewhere? Alright, well I am going to be looking for ships. I will be back when I find something to shoot at. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so... That is definitely a ship. It is not showing up on the map, but that is definitely a ship. Now, it is quite an annoying angle Closing tube two. for our torpedo to have to turn, but tube I'm going to try it anyway. Now, I can't get a lock on this guy. I can't get a lock on any ship in here. So it's going to be a little tricky. To, to go around and actually like. Hit these ships. Where's... I'm gonna go on a limb and say that that torpedo is just not even gonna hit anything. Ship sighted, bearing eight, eight. All right. <laughs> we finally got a lock. Two, two, loss. So let's see, this is going to be, a, yeah, so really, our torpedoes can't <clears throat> turn. Minimum speed back. Tight enough. Torpedo impact. Well, our torpedo hits something. All stop. The shoreline. All right. 
So that's our, but again, you can see the torpedo path here is going to completely miss that guy. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, we're not going to be able to hit him. So I've got a different idea. I've got a gutsy idea. Surface the boat. We are in shallow waters, Captain. This may be crazy. I agree. Give me my head. Especially since I can't even see. the ship to what I can impact. see and it is a bit gamey but I can kind of make out the uh, the outline of the ship here So, we're just going to do this. Like I say, it's a bit dangerous, especially since I know that these freighters can be armed. But I'm going to assume that their visual seeing range is roughly the same as mine. And that they can't actually see us. Because we can't actually see them. And as long as they're not shooting at us, we should be safe. We'll plug two more rounds into this freighter. And then if we just kind of put a mark roughly here. <clears throat> oh, maybe that is a bit too close. But, I'll Minimum just back. back the endurance up a bit. I'll stop. Come on. And then sort of position ourselves oh, like Harsh. that, but not Minimum that quickly. Speed ahead. Minimum speed ahead. Just something like that. Waters, Captain. I'll stop. And that ship is definitely ahead of us still. So I'm just going to get a little cheaty and take a look. We've definitely done a fair amount of damage. But perhaps not enough to sink this ship. Let's just check. That is a fair amount of fire. Oh, stop. That guy is definitely looking pretty damaged. Minimum speed ahead. So let's just move ahead a little bit. And we can start seeing the impact from where we're sitting. <clears throat> All right. All stop.
Well, I don't know if this thing's going two, down two, yet. Ready. It looks like it might be. So let's get ourselves... This is definitely as close as I want to be. We still apparently don't have a visual which makes me laugh we should and we've got other ships looking for us I think it might be time to get ourselves under Periscope depth. it's very close very very close but I think this guy's a confirmed Current kill. Depth, one, zero meters. Well, I think he's going to sink. I don't know if it's going to confirm the kill or not. Because, like I say, we never really visually identified it, right? We never got a lock. We never really saw it. But does kelp? Kelp? <laughs> It's not kelp. It does count. It was a Hog Island Type A freighter. Just a little guy, though. So I'm not sure if that actually moved or not. But with that gone, and any time um, the ground can swallow you up would be just peachy keen. All right. <clears throat> the reason I wanted to wait... Uh, obviously is because we've got another ship right in front of us. So, let's grab the periscope, make sure it's set right in front of us. Closing tube two. And speed advance ahead. our speed forward. So there's the cargo. Ship sighted bearing three, five, zero. Here's the next ship. Tracking target. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, any torpedo we punch it with All stop. is going to not arm. So if we can go back, speed back. We are in shallow waters, Captain. We lose the uh, the target lock before it gets within, like, torpedo hitting range, but we can kind of cheat this. I'll stop. We'll go a little bit deeper. Torpedo depth set to three meters. And straight in front of us is probably an okay shot. Two, one, loss. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to hit this ship after it's armed. Why are you turning? There's no reason to turn. <sighs> okay. Torpedo depth set to two meters. Firing tube two. Let's try that. So it should be armed. And that is definitely a good hit. But again, torpedo depth set to three meters, firing to three. I don't know if this thing is going to count. So, actually, no, let's leave that up. Minimum speed ahead. Go ahead slow until we see it. Ship sighted, bearing three, five, there we go. Two. All stop. So we'll have to do the same thing here Surface the boat. and use the deck gun. Torpedo 
Probably the shore, so I wouldn't get too excited about torpedo that torpedo impact. impact. Let's get on the gun. Nice and close. We do not need... Um, yeah, let's try and aim for where the oil should be. And in fact, let's back off just a little bit. I don't know if shrapnel from explosions is modeled in this game. I think it was in Silent Hunter 4. Uh, but I don't know if it is in Silent Hunter 5, and I'd rather not take the chance that if this thing blows up, the endurance gets damaged. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Uh, there we go. Spewing fire. Spewing fire out of every orifice. Let's cut the speed. Because we do still need to see this thing. And it looks to me like she's sunk. So that's at least one we can see. Terribly sorry for missing all the explosions. A Simmerin class tanker. I don't know if that moved. It wasn't that big. We'll get right up by the torpedo netter. Netter cutter? Torpedo net. Submarine net cutter. There we go. So, we're just going to have to let this guy sink. Two, one, ready. And is he sunk? Nowhere near yet. And hanging out on the surface is probably not the safest thing to do at the moment. But I think it's going to be... Two, ready. The most effective way to get kills today. Minimum so we'll just go feedback. ahead until we see another ship. Because there should be more. So there's the tanker. And here's another one. We are in shallow waters, Captain. All stop. Ship sighted. Now. Three, one, eight. Eventually. Two, three, ready. We're going to come up to a ship that can shoot back. And when that happens, it's going to get fairly dangerous. Um, what we're going to have to hope is that they still can't see us. So, uh, let's hope this is one that won't be shooting back. And in fact, what might be the best bet here is, um, armor piercing. Now they can definitely see us now. There's, there's no question about it. How's it going? Um, but what I'm hoping is that the angle is just right. Yeah, let's... Try and get these shells to fall a little bit higher. But yeah, I'm hoping that the angle's right so that any guns that this freighter might have can't come to bear on us. Which is why I'm not... 
I'm thinking I should probably reverse a little bit here. But... I don't know. I don't want to present a target any more than I'm presenting already. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. And uh, at the very least, you know, we, we crossed the T of that freighter, which is... Quite a thing to be able to accomplish. A Steel Viking big modern passenger ship, 8,000 tons. And again, I don't see that bar moving. I would, I would have imagined by now it would have been moving. Oh, hello. Well, we might as well sink this ship too then. Uh, it looks like we sunk it. No. No, we didn't. That, that, those are just those two ships. We've still got one more. Right. Oh! Oh, can I just control... <laughs> look at that! Okay, I've never shot outside of aiming view. Can we go up a bit? It's probably pretty wasteful to uh, to do this with all this high explosive ammunition. Ship sighted bearing 294. Beautiful. Yeah, you can see uh, the gun there. So you can just make it out. Um, let's see. Right there, actually, is a deck gun that thankfully is not firing at us. But I don't know how long that'll last. Now, in non video game terms, if this was real life, uh, despite three other ships in the port being sunk. <clears throat> You can imagine that we have at least caught the crew of this freighter very much off guard. And uh, they're probably panicking, what with all of the fire and explosions that are happening. And so getting to their action stations is probably uh, a little secondary right now to freaking getting off the ship that's dying. But from a video game standpoint, those guns really should be shooting We're at us. On shallow waters, Captain. I readily admit that. And we're shooting lifeboats off. And I mean, eventually this guy... ...should start dying. I think we got one more round of high explosive left. Nope, okay. Well then, what we're going to do with the armor piercing... Unfortunately, we can't really get it low enough. But I'm just going to try and punch holes as close to the water as I can. In a vain attempt to open up the ship even more... the water but 
looks like she's dead. Which is good. So let's climb on up. Now I think for sure that this ship here is the same class I think this is the same class as the other two ships that did count. So first, let's check. Yes, that's a Patroclus, or however you pronounce that, merchant freighter that is armed. And that didn't move the bar up either. So what that tells me is, before the crash, I was quote-unquote connected to Uplay, and now after the crash... I am not connected to you, Play. So, we're going to get ourselves out of here. Hopefully avoiding any military contact. It looks like we got another ship here. I'm going to leave her. Hello, lads. Don't tell the, uh... Don't tell the port forces I'm here. Uh, I'm just going to leave her because, what's the point, none of these are counting for the mission. And we sunk four ships already, plus another two before going on this raid. So, uh... Thank you, Weather. You helped us out a great deal today. And I think that's going to be it. So, um... Yeah, obviously we need to get back and resupply. New waypoint, course 43. New waypoint, course 86. So we'll set the course to do that. New waypoint, course like one, so. Two, five. And make sure we're not going to run aground. We can probably sneak that around. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So I'll see you guys when we get back to port. All right, well, I took a look at the ship log. And we have been on patrol since about October 26th. It is now November 25th, so I figured a month at sea. And all of the freaking... Good work the Endurance has done. They've earned themselves some shore leave, so we're going to go ahead and end the patrol. We've been given command of a new submarine. Do we accept? Absolutely. We've been given the command of a new submarine. Awesome. That's lovely. We're going to keep calling her the Endurance, because it's just easier to do that way. But let's go check out our new boat. We probably need some sure. upgrades. What do you want? What have we got? Sure thing. What do you have in mind? Still just, um... T2s, not any T3s, so let's go ahead and get rid of that electric, load up <clears throat> a steam up front, but what we will do is, um, come on, put electrics all in the rear. So we finally got ourselves some external reserves, I know there was a question about that, it's all to do with U-boat upgrades, so as you get a newer upgrade, up, as you get an upgraded U-boat, you get more things you can slap on them. So in this case, with our new submarine, we've got some external reserves, which is sure. great. What do you want? Sure. What do you want? Uh, we can get ourselves, you know, a new conning tower, which I think we'll do. We'll go with the uh, Type 7B Tower version 2, because we get two flak guns that way. So let's go ahead and equip that sucker. No deck gun, no conning tower, no flak. That's still the same. Everything else is the same. We do have some uh, camouflage we can do, so let's go ahead and equip equip the tiger stripes. Yes, Captain. You won't recognize your girl when I'm through with her. Of course. How's <laughs> it Welcome going, Captain back, Dead Eyes? Heckerlund. What are my Welcome back. Heckerlund. What are my orders? None. Back, All right. Well then, I don't know. Come in, Captain. Uh, there we go. I have just received. Thank you. And it's still the same old, same old? Okay, well, then we'll just request that mission and close out. And we are going to give it a save. 
uh, season three. Save it. And uh, that's going to be it for today. A bit of a longer episode today. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, go ahead, exit to Windows. Yes, please. And let's take a look. Three missions complete, two left to do, 34 merchant ships, eight warships, for a total tonnage of almost 300,000, and it isn't even 1940 yet! This is amazing. We're doing great work uh, for Nazi Germany, which is weird. Anyway, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.